the increase in clouds as we go through the morning hours. Uh, looking at the temperature out there, the clouds are helping, so keeping us a little bit warmer at 52 degrees. At KCI, 53 downtown, 45 in Lawrence, 48 in Harrisonville. So looking at today, those of you that are going to be heading off to work for one more day before the holiday weekend, your morning commute to work will be partly cloudy, dry, 50 degrees. Now, the ride home from work may have a few isolated showers or even a rumble of thunder out there. 66 degrees as you head home. We're looking to top out right around 70 degrees later on today. So headlines that we're going to be talking about over the course of the next three hours or so. More rain on the way. The holiday weekend forecast that has several chances for rain in it and we'll kind of break it down and where your best times to be outside will be. And yes, there will be flooding concerns moving forward. So we'll discuss just how much rain we can expect through the weekend. Guys. All right, Kaylee, we continue to follow breaking news this morning. Police are still searching for and warning about a murder suspect. They say James Horn Jr. killed his ex-girlfriend and uh, Sandra Sutton and her teenage son, Zachary Sutton, in Clinton yesterday morning. Only weeks earlier, he was accused of kidnapping and locking her in a box for months in an effort to find him in Sedalia that ended unsuccessfully yesterday afternoon. Puerto One Action News reporter Dia Wall is live in Clinton where police are leading the investigation now. Dia. Yes, good morning to you guys. They are looking for James Barton Horn Jr. He is still on the run right now. We are in Clinton at the very home where Sandra and Zach Sutton were both found killed yesterday. So we are really trying to follow all the developments in the search for Horn. The Clinton Police Department, the Henry County Sheriff's Office, and Missouri State Highway Patrol are all teaming up in the search for this man. Now, a lot of our viewers have been asking us about a description of James Horn Jr. He's 5 feet 11 to 6 feet tall. About 175 to 180 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. He is considered armed and dangerous. He's known to frequent the Sedalia and Pettis County areas, so everyone needs to be on high alert. If you see this man, do not approach him. You are encouraged to call 911 because, again, he is considered both armed and dangerous. Preliminary autopsy results for Sandra Sutton and her 17 year old son Zachary are due back today. Toxicology is going to take another six to eight weeks or so. There are no plan press conferences today from law enforcement on the search for Horn, but we definitely plan to uh, head that way a little bit later in the morning and see what we can find out from local officials as to where they are in the search, if they have any new leads at all in trying to find this man. We're reporting live this morning in Clinton, DOL 41 Action News.